I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a word problem on quadratic functions. The question is, a rectangle has an area of 322 centimeters square. One side is 9 centimeters longer than the other. What are the dimensions of the rectangle? So let us sketch a rectangle, define our variables, and then we'll solve it, right? So let this be the rectangle with width w. It says one side is 9 centimeters longer. So let length be equals to w plus 9. We are given area equals to 322. And the units are centimeters square. We need to find length and width. That is the dimensions of the rectangle. Now we know area is equals to length times width. Length is w plus 9, so we can replace length with w plus 9 and times w. Area is given to us as 322, right? So if I open this bracket, I get w square minus 9w. Bringing 322 to the right, we get minus 322. I'm sorry, this is plus, equals to 0. So that becomes the quadratic equation. Now this quadratic equation can be solved with the help of quadratic formula or also by factoring, correct? So you could do either of those two things to really solve this quadratic equation. Uh, let's try factoring. It is not easy to factor this. Uh, since 322 is a big number, so uh, either way, we'll use the calculator. So let's try to factor this. We are looking for two numbers whose product, let's say P times Q, should be equal to 322, right? Minus 322. And the sum of these two numbers is 9. To find such numbers, what we can do is we can look into factors of 322. So let's look into factors of 322. So I could divide this by 2. 2 is definitely a factor. It's 2 times 1, 12 is 6, and then we get 161. Now 161, what are factors of 161? So let's try dividing 161 by 7 which is 23. So we know the factors for 161 is 7 and 23, right? So these are very typical numbers, so I kind of remember them. I hope you will also remember after this example. Now we need sum as 9. And since the product is negative, one of them should be positive, the other one negative. So if I combine 7 and 2, I get 14. And if you take away 14 from 23, you do get 9, right? So, I could factor it as a combination of 14 and 23, where 23 is going to be positive since the sum is positive. So, we can write this as W plus 23 times W minus 14, correct? So, and then to satisfy this equation, width could be equal to minus 23 or equals to plus 14. As you know, we're talking about dimensions, so negative is uh, not valid, so not valid. So this is correct. So we can take width as 14, right? So we can take width as 14, length we know is width plus 9 and therefore length will be equals to 14 plus 9 which is 23 right and we know width is 14 so that becomes the dimensions for our rectangle so our answer is dimensions of the rectangle are 14 centimeter by 23 centimeter is it okay so that is how we can actually solve this you can always use quadratic formula to solve this equation. I purposely did this factoring part to show you that with difficult numbers also you can factor kind of like this. I hope you appreciate it. 
Thank you and all the best.